Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how to use Wokwi Simulator in VS Code. So let's get started. In the previous video, we saw how to use Wokwi Simulator in the browser. In this video, we will integrate it into Visual Studio Code, that is VS Code. First, ensure you have Platform IO extension installed in VS Code. Next, we need to install the Wokwi extension. To do this, go to the extension view, search for Wokwi, select the first result, and click on install. If you read the documentation here, it mentions that Wokwi is an embedded system and IoT simulator supporting ESP32, Arduino, and the Raspberry Pi Pico. After installation, open Platform IO and create a new project. Enter the project name, select the board, choose the framework, select the directory and click on finish. Open newly created project. Now open the main.cpp file. This file will contain the source code of the project. We will use the same project code we used in the online simulator. Download and extract the project files. Open the code file with .ino extension. Copy the complete code and paste it into the main.cpp file. Make sure to include the arduino.h header file since we are using the arduino framework. Our code uses the liquid crystal i2c library which we haven't included in the platform io project yet. To add it, go to the libraries view and search for liquid crystal i2c. Open the appropriate library. There are two ways to add the library. The first one, click on the add to project button, which will add the library to the project. Or go to the installation tab, copy the library name with version information and add it manually. Now open the platform.ini file, add the lib depths variable, paste the library name on the next line and you can append other libraries below the previous library name if needed like this compile the code to check if library dependencies are resolved next we will add few files for simulation purpose let's add a diagram.json file if you try to open the diagram.json file for the first time, then we'll get the error like missing Wokwi license key. Click on get your license key and then click on open. This will open the Wokwi license activation page. Click on get your license and then click on open Visual Studio Code. Click on the pop-up and your license will be activated. This license is a community mode with limited access. To reflect the changes, you will need to restart the VS code. Now again, try to open the diagram.json file and you will be able to see your license. When you try to edit this file, you might get a message to upgrade the plan if you are on free plan but there is a workaround open the newly added diagram.json file in notepad copy all the content from the diagram.json file of the previous project and paste it into the new file and then save it now we need to add one more file which will contain the path of the binary file of our project Refer to the documentation on wokwi.com. Copy the content of the file and create a new file with the name wokwi.toml. Paste the content which we copied from the documentation. Copy the path of the binary file we compiled earlier and update it into the wokwi.toml file. Update the path for firmware and ELF file. 
Now open the diagram.json file again. Now our project environment is ready for simulation. Let's run the simulation. You won't be able to add any component in the VS Code simulation. You will need to update the diagram on Wokui.com and then copy the diagram file as mentioned. So again I am updating the diagram on Wokui online simulator and copied the diagram.json file content and pasted it in the VS Code diagram.json file. Reload the file again to reflect the changes. Now I am updating the code to toggle the LED. Now let's compile the code and now let's run the simulation again and here we go. So that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.